Hi, I'm John Fitzgerald and welcome to Custodian TV. And this is part four of a four part series. Part one was on China, and these are the big four I call it. Part one was China, part two is the mining boom, part three, the population demographic shift, and part four, housing, and what's gonna happen with housing. We have a housing shortage. Today, according to the National Housing Supply Council, 204,000 homes, due to rise to around about 300,000 homes, by 2015-16 and hit potentially as many as 600,000 homes in the future. Now, why is this happening? It's happening for a couple of reasons, but principally we're not building enough homes. Just to keep up with our population growth, we need to build around 180, 190,000 homes. Because of the GFC, we're really building about 130, 140,000. So the shortage is compounding by about 50 or 60,000 homes a year. And this is gonna become more and more dramatic as our population grows. Now population is growing by nearly 300,000 a year, and that's just in migration plus natural births, maybe in excess of 450, 500,000 a year. These are phenomenal numbers, and that's why we need the 190,000 homes a year, which we're not supplying, and we haven't been supplying for the last few years. And this isn't unusual. We've had demand supply um, criteria before, and I, I go back to, in fact, 1985, 86, 87, when they quashed, the government quashed negative gearing, and we had a shortage of supply of maybe two to five years at any one particular time in the States. They bought back negative gearing in 1987, and it was an amazing time because the stock market had crashed, similar to what we've seen happen really in the last few months with all the uh, turmoil overseas. The stock market crashed, but 1988 saw the start of the, probably one of the biggest housing booms we've seen in Australian history, where prices doubled between 1988 to 1990, 91. An amazing time. And I'm seeing very similar issues today. 2011, stock market under amazing pressure from overseas, et cetera, et cetera, but also a shortage of housing as a hangover from the GFC. And now we're seeing banks coming to the party, increasing their loan value ratios, and you're gonna see, and, and wage growth coming back. The Reserve Bank actually commenting recently that wage growth has returned to level seen prior to the GFC. So we've got all these dynamics going on at the same time as we're coming out of the whole GFC. 2012, I'm predicting we're gonna see the start of probably one of the biggest housing booms in Australian history. It'll be much bigger than 1988. And these are phenomenal times. Keep your eyes on what's gonna actually happen with housing. Mixture of demographics, that is the um, uh, shortage of population requiring an import of population, the mining boom, and of course China. It's an amazing time in Australian history. Thank you for listening to me. Oh, and by the way, you must come along to this year's summit. I'm gonna be talking about this topic as well as the other three main topics and where we're exactly at city by city in the housing boom. This is the most important summit to come along to. Look forward to seeing you there.